Cherry Audio has released an emulation of the biggest, the rarest, and the mythical est synthesizer of all time. This is the PS3300. As with many of the products, Terry Audio is taking us into a journey through synth history. Now, before you mention it, I know there's another emulation of this synthesizer that's well recognized, but I'll talk about that later on this video. This synthesizer has three main signal generators, which is another way to say oscillators. You set their levels and the panning on the right panel. Now, the first impression can be a little bit confusing, but the position of every parameter is very intuitive. We have modulation, amount and inputs for the frequency below the oscillator, and for the cutoff point below the filter. So the signal flow is like this. The signal generator has different shapes to choose from. It has its own post width modulation intensity. You can change the frequency and the octave. Then it goes to the low pass filter, which has a somewhat tame resonance. But Terry Audio added the option to use the dirty resonance of the MS-20. We have key tracking and also the envelope modulation amount. This is related to the envelope next to it, which is also the envelope for the amplitude. Each oscillator has their own LFO, that's called Mod Generator 1. This is internally rooted to the frequency of the oscillator and the cutoff point. To add modulation, we have to increase these knobs. You can sync it to your project, but what's crazy about this LFO is that it can go up to 4 kHz. Below these MG1 knobs, we have the amount for external controls. We can use, for instance, another LFO. The sample and hold that's all the way here at the right. Or even an oscillator. Or in the right panel, we also have another envelope generator. So now we can have a separate envelope for the amplitude and for the filter. We can also control parameters for each LFO. Now you may have noticed that we also have a small mod generator too. It's internally rooted to the pulse width modulation. But it's also internally rooted to one of the unique features of the PS3300. Enter the resonators. <laughs> These are three parallel bandpass filters with a resonant peak, and you can set them to any frequency from 100Hz to 20kHz despite here saying 10kHz. The idea of the resonators is changing the timbre, sort of like having a 3-band EQ with the same gain. The amount for the resonators is set for the three at the same time with this knob. In the default patch, the peak frequency modulation by MG2 is on, which will create a bit of movement around the selected frequency of each peak, giving us a nice modulation effect. If we disable the movement, we can set all the resonators to 100Hz, and now we can make fat basses. Now, the final unique feature are the temperament knobs. To keep it simple, these will let you fine-tune each note on the chromatic scale for each oscillator. It goes 100 cents or 1 semitone up or below. Obviously, this adds to the complexity, letting you create microtonal relationships, different kinds of detuning, atonal madness, and even quantize them to a specific scale. If you want to quantize it in one scale, you have to know the notes of that scale. Now even if I play C major, it's going to sound like C minor. 
Let's go to the panel on the right. I already explained a signal mixer. It's really simple, so let's go to the sample and hold. It can be synced to your project, but you can sample anything that you put in the input. The general envelope generator, well, it's an envelope with delay, attack, it has sustain, and then a release. It has two external trigger inputs. The ones that you are going to use the most are the gate out, single or multi. Finally, we have the control voltage processors. These are going to limit the amount of signal on the positive and negative values separately. That way, an LFO can get different amounts for going on positive or negative values. <laughs> As the final feature, we can activate up to three effects. One is the chorus, then the delay, and a river with a spring, a plate, and of course, the galactic river. On the chorus and on the delay, you can modulate the rate, and on the reverb, you can modulate the mix. And that's everything the synthesizer has to offer. With the unique features, you can get really interesting and experimental sounds. But now it's time we address the existence of another emulation. I feel I need to make the comparison because that other emulation is really well known. I believe it's on many top lists of free synthesizers. Full Bucket Music is a plugin developer that's really respected in the freeware communities. He has emulations for many effects and synthesizers, of course the majority are from Korg, and one of the most notable ones is for the 3300. So how does Full Bucket compares? Well, I find them really different. Both have excellent sound quality, but in terms of features and workflow, I have my preference. It's just my opinion, and I must acknowledge both are excellent emulations. Cherry Audio offers cables instead of these menus, panning for each oscillator, the ability to have an MS-20 filter, and of course, the three effects. So download the demo and compare them by yourself in terms on how they feel, the workflow, and if you like the sound. After that, let me know in the comments your thoughts. If you want to buy this synthesizer, consider using my affiliate link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time, and bye bye! Yeah. <laughs>